Hi family, welcome to Queen Bee Salad Master Kitchen. Today episode, I'm coming to fry my red egg fish. Yeah, so you can see it's already cleaned and I've just dried it. So these are the things that I'm going to use. This type of fish, it doesn't have enough oil. So just two tablespoons of oil is here. I'm using my um, uh, grand uh, ginger and I'm using my bouillon instead of uh, salt. So this organic one, yeah. So stay tuned and I got my brush here. So these are the things I'm going to use. And I got my beautiful skillet here. That's a good boy. Yeah, so it's an air fryer, it's an oven, it's a rice cooker. So now it's well preheated. I will test it so that you guys will see. So now I'm putting a little bit of ginger for the taste. So that's ginger and half teaspoon of uh, bouillon. Right, so I'm going to stir it. I'm going to stir it in the brush like that okay so now let's test it if it's ready wow so if you see the water bubbling or dancing it means your pan is ready for your fish like i said this type of fish doesn't have enough oil so it's up to you so i'm going to use the oil that's how i'm going to do it brush it with the oil inside there if you want to put extra seasoning or any stock you can do it but the good thing with salad master is it preserves the nutrients and also the taste they protect the flavor as well so you don't need too much of stuff so that's one side and i'll brush the other side so i'm doing the other side as well that's one of them and please don't overflow your your skillet whenever you are doing your fish Make sure there's some gap or some space around it. So that's the other side. And you can see I still have some of the oil here. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is to brush through. I'm brushing through it to the other side. So that when I'm turning, that will be easy to turn as well. So now I'm not going to cover it fully as we do when we are doing the sea brim, the sea bass, and the mackerel. This time I'm going to crack it. It's a halfway crack. The reason is that so that it won't be uh, uh, wet. Yeah, when it's crunchy. And the next thing I'm going to do is that's it set the temperature. You can see it's 230. So this one is the timer. So you press the timer and you use the up arrow key. So I'm doing it for 20 minutes or say 22 minutes. I want more crunchy. So I'm doing it for 22 minutes. And after 22 minutes, I'll flip the other side. And I'll do the other side for uh, maybe 15 minutes. So this one is under 230 for 22 minutes. Depend how crunchy or how crispy that you want it. So it's on now. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. Now you can see it's gone off. So now let's see. I'm about to flip it. So when you flip it, you start from the head and it goes like that. Like I said, if you want more crunchy, the oil is still here. Just brush through with just a little bit of oil. Then you flap. Beautiful. You see? So you start from the head and it goes down. Yeah? Then don't forget to brush it again. Mm -hmm. So just two, three tablespoons of oil. Yeah? Then it turns as the air fryer. Okay. Yeah. So don't close it fully. Crack it. Then you go back to the settings. So you press this one, then you hold the up arrow key. You hold it. Yeah. Instead for you to press it like this, one at a time, hold the up arrow keys, and it goes to 230. So if you want crunchy, you do it for 20 minutes. So I'm doing it for 20 minutes because I want crunchy. So 20 minutes is more than that. Then you use the, this one, then you take the one from it. So 20 minutes time, then I'll show you. Stay tuned. Okay, let's see now. It's gone off. So let's see, it's ready. Wow, beautiful. It's ready. So all the time, you start from the head and it goes like that. Beautiful. Yeah. Imagine, you save a lot of oil. Yeah. And the beauty of Salad Master is the nutrients is in there, plus the fish, the flavor or the taste. So you don't need to put too much seasonings. You don't need too much seasonings. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah.